One of the biggest differences for Washington State this season, protecting the ball on offense while forcing takeaways on defense. Last year, the Cougs minus 17 in the turnover margin, while this year, plus three, heading into the Apple Cup. Peyton Bender making his first career start in place of the injured Luke Falk. Early going, Cougs up three zip after a Keith Harrington fumble. Chris Peterson dialing up Chris Peterson play calls. The reverse to Chico McClatcher, 26 yards untouched to the hunt. Seven, three dogs, second quarter. Jake Browning takes a pounding here, but able to get the pass off to Isaiah Renfro. He's Got a 43-yard grab, takes it down inside the 10 miles. Gaskin would punch in a few plays later, make it a 17-3 Husky lead. We mentioned the turnovers at the top because today it was the headline. WSU turning the ball over seven times in this one. Bender picked off here by Sidney Jones. He takes it back 69 yards. Dogs running away up 24-3. But despite all the turnovers, the biggest concern, the health of Gabe Marks, the Cougs, Top wide out going down in ugly fashion right here. The ball comes out. Darren Gardenhire with the scoop in the score for Washington. Marks would stay on the ground, eventually getting helped off the field. Then carted to the locker room as the Cougs drop an all around ugly tilt in Seattle. 45 to 10. The Huskies make it three straight over the Cougs and claim the Apple Cup for the sixth time in the last seven years. Keith also has more. The Washington State Cougars came into this year's Apple Cup with the hottest teams in all the Pac-12. They were beating everybody and teams that Mike Leach said were even better than this Husky team. But that changed here in Husky Stadium as the Huskies came out and flat out wanted it more than Washington State and the Cougars couldn't answer. Uh, it wasn't our uh, A game. Um, we uh, didn't come out firing on all cylinders, but, uh, you know, it's a, it's a game they got away from us. We just didn't show up today. That's all. We, should have, we didn't play like we've been playing, and that, that just, just wasn't us, you know. We just didn't show up. We dropped balls. Okay, let's write this down. We dropped balls. We missed open guys. We fumbled. We missed blocks. It's about as simple as that. Certainly a disappointing loss for the Cougars. As for the Huskies, this puts them into bowl consideration. Win number six on the season. They had to have this game. It looked like they had to have this game, and they come out here and beat Washington State. For the Cougars, next up's a waiting game as they wait to see who they'll play in their bowl game. In Seattle with the Cougs, I'm Keith Oso, KXOY4Sports.